Welcome back to game 3 between Kikesa and Ojama. This is going to decide who moves on to ulti finals. Kikesa is using a team that is known, it's made by Eternum. I've seen it around, it's Scarf Landris. If I recall correctly, it's U-turn, Edge, Defog, Earthquake, Lando. Spikes, Ferrothorn with Jarable, Knockoff and Leech Seed. Rocks, DNC, then Quiver Dance, Roost, Flamethrower, Bug, Buzz, Wall, Corona. I think it's Bugsy, but it might also be Leftovers, I don't remember 100%, but I think it's Bugsy, yeah. Then the Finny is Scald, Torn, Nature's Madness and Defog, and the Arena class is Asset Armor, Recover, Calm Mind, Mono Psychic or Psy Shock. I don't remember I don't remember which one of the two it is. On Ojama's side it looks like it's Mega Tita, Scarf Jirachi with Healing Wish, um, probably Sub Bruce, Kieran with Ice Beam and Earth Power, Isa Z move or Metronome, Spadef Packs, and then Bulky Landris to check um, Zygarde. Could either be the Aya Papa Landris that Ojama has used multiple times this ulti, or it could also be um, Defensive Z Fly Landris to check Halucha, because he looks pretty weak to Halucha. And yeah, I mean, if Lando is that Aya Papa set, which I'm not sure if it is, then the Z would be either on the Curum or the Torn. And either the Curum or the Torn is gonna be Metronome. The one of the two that is not the Z move is most likely metronome so he goes back into landris there i think he predicted kick ass to go into dianthi but he just knocks again and he knocks off the air papa confirming what i was thinking i mean ojama used the set multiple times this ot so it wasn't really hard to predict that he was going to use it again um i think it's like rocks of quick hpis and last move is either u-turn or toxic i think toxic makes a lot of sense to help check halucha um so now ojama might just knock off because if i'm ojama i would probably just not because I'm tired of Kikasa staying in with the Pharaoh Thorn and being annoying. Because last time he didn't switch into Dianthi. When Ojama doubled back into Landris and he was able to knock off the Aya Papa. And, um. Yeah, DD Megata actually looks like a threat in this match. As long as Tita is around, Reunicus can never win for Kikasa. Even if it gets lower through the spikes, he still can healing wish it back with the Jirachi. And um, the Volcrona also can't do really anything because if it's the set that. The original set that I told you guys with Flamethrower and Bugsy um, and Quiverdance and Roost, it's walled by packs and even if you change it to Shattered Psych, um, there is still a Mega Tita that can live a plus one bug bus, so he has to chip the Tita first before he can win with the Volcarona if he's, um, if he's Shattered Psych, but I'm pretty sure he's just Bugsy, which is completely walled by packs. So Jama's gonna switch out here into packs or Tornadoes, most likely into packs. Uh, Kikasa's probably just gonna throw out a Nature's Madness, um, goes for Skull instead. Um, maybe he was hoping Ojama doesn't know that this is Scald and he would stay in. Ojama can go to T-Spike up here if he has that, exactly. And Kikesa didn't even taunt him, so now if he doesn't defog and if he switches out to Finny, then he's gonna get Toxic the next time, or Poison, like I don't know how to call it when it's one layer, but he's gonna get status on the Finny. Um, so Ojama um, is gonna throw the Scald once and then he's probably gonna pivot here into Tornadus, because Tornadus is not affected by the spikes and has Regenerator. So he's really pivot into Tornadus here. And we're gonna see either Nature Madness why can I not talk? We're gonna see either Nature's Madness or Scald. Now the Tornadus is just gonna knock off because if the Finny stays in, he gets rid of the leftovers. And if the Finny switches out, um, it will get poisoned when it comes back in because it did not defog. So it goes for either Fightsy or Flyzy. It's Fightsy, which makes some sense because outside of Mega Tita and the potential Elf Power on the Kyurem, um, he's kind of weak to. He's kind of weak to Heatran. So I think he's just gonna Earthquake here with the Landris because HPS might be a roll or might not kill at all the Ferrothorn. Kikesa can switch out here into Reuniclus or his own landers to save the Ferrothorn as fodder. If he goes on his own landers on the Earthquake now, he's forced to U-turn out. I'm pretty sure this landers does not carry HPIs. And, well, he could defog technically, but Ojama is going to click HPIs here, definitely. Um, looking at Ojama's team that has HPIs, I told you guys the set earlier, it's most likely just rocks, Earthquake, HPIs, and then either U-turn or Toxic. Toxic doesn't make sense because he's weak to Halucha, so he does just pivot into Reuniclus, which makes a lot of sense because it doesn't care about the Toxic spikes, it doesn't care about HPIs. And Ojama can just, if he has U-turn, he can go for that, otherwise he's going to hard switch out into either the Tita or the Jirachi. Because uh, the Jirachi could threaten the Reuniclus with a trick, though he kind of wants to keep the Scarf, I feel. Um, so Heart Tita is also an option if he doesn't want to go Jirachi. One of the two is going to come out here. And yeah, Kikasa is just in a tough spot, because T-Spikes plus Rocks annoy him so much more than Spikes annoy Ojama. So, like, he kind of has to defog, I feel, but even if he defogs... Um, yeah. yeah, actually I think he should probably defog when, like... Maybe he should have defogged with the Finny on the packs. But I get that he wants the spikes up. I completely get it. Because the spikes means Tita gets worn down from hazards. And if he can wear on the Tita, he can potentially win with the Reuniclus. Um, but yeah, he just U-turns. I think Kikasa was potentially fearing the trick there, so he switched out the Reuniclus. 
Ojama can bring out his own Landris here. I'm not sure if he knows this team that Kikaz is using, but this team was like used multiple times in like Smog on Tour and also some fun tours. I think in the fun tour that I'm hosting, this Eternal team was used in. So Ojama can threaten out um, Kikaz's Lando with the HPIs here. So Kikaz is gonna have to U turn out. Unless he changed the set, he does not have HPIs. He has U turn, Earthquake, Defog, and. Stone Edge, did I already say that? I think I'm mixing up the moves. But yeah, Ojama um, is free to click Earthquake here or HP Ice. Let's just click HP Ice. Reuniclus is always the pivot there. Um, saves the Ferrothon as Forest still. But I just don't see how Kick-Ass wins this at this point. Because um, Ojama can now either go back into Tita or Jirachi. He's probably going to go Tita. And kick just can't really do anything. Like, he has no way to status the T-Tar um, unless Ojama just misplays. And now Ojama can actually try to go for a Dragon Dance. Since he has rocks on the land, this t is definitely a Dragon Dance variant. Um, probably with Ice Punch, Fire Punch, and either Stone Edge or Crunch. Something along those lines. Like, some of the moves are interchangeable, but I still think I think you definitely want Fire Punch for Kartana. You want Ice Punch for Landro Zygarde. And then the last move, I guess you probably want Crunch to hit Reuniclus hard. Yeah, you probably want Crunch, but Edge is also a good option. He switches out there, he doesn't want to take a potential Earthquake. So good play on Ojama, and Ojama is now free to just click Earthquake on his own, knowing that Kikasa has to switch out because he's locked into Earthquake, he sacks off the Ferrothorn. I mean, even if he went Reuniclus dead, then he still had to recover, and it didn't make a difference, because as long as Tita is around, Reuniclus is not winning this match. And now, um, the thing is, like, Kikasa, I just don't see him winning, because the Volk is walled by the packs. Um, I guess if he changed the Volcarona set, he might have a shot. But even if he's Shattered Psych, there's still a Mega T that can get Healing Wished back. Um, if he goes Finny here, he will get poisoned. And he still can't kill the Lander from this range. If he goes to his own Landers, he would just have to U turn out to Edge, which doesn't really get you anything. The Envy also cannot kill the Lander from here. So I think he's either gonna go to Reuniclus or to Tapu Finny, one of the two. And he just seems to be. In a bad spot. Um, I don't see Ojama losing this game, so he's probably gonna wrap this up. Like, if the um, Reuniclus comes out, Ojama can just go back to like Jirachi or Tita. If the Finny comes out, Ojama can just Earthquake to weaken that. And if Lando comes out, Ojama can either switch out or he can go for HP Ice, like, he just has all the options. So I think he's just gonna Earthquake the Finny here. Get some good chip on that. And um, Kikasa's probably gonna go for Nature's Madness or Scald. Just depends if he predicts him to pivot out into Toxapex. Um, he probably wants to Nature's Madness predicting him to pivot into the Pex, but if he predicts Lando to stay in, he can also Scald, but he does just Madness. I think predicting the Pex to come out, or if Scald didn't kill from that range, which it probably didn't, then he just tried to Nature's Madness because it covered the Pex and it brought the Landers into Scald range. Um, but yeah, we see the Landers is actually faster than the top of Fini, so Jama probably has some speed investment on that, since he has Aya Papa Berry. Uh, even, if, if, even if he's a speedier Lando, he can still check Zygarde quite well. So he goes hard into Taranta on the Runicus. And yeah, I think he can just attack this time. He can also drag Nance up. Um, honestly, it doesn't matter too much. Um, but yeah, Kikasa is gonna have to switch out here, most likely to Tapu Fini. Well, yeah, Ojama is free to just go for Dragon Dance. I really don't see a downside. Um, even if Kikasa goes into Landris, then Ojama, if he doesn't want to risk anything, he can still switch out to Titar. Uh, also, earlier when Kikasa went for the Earthquake on a Tita, he probably should have gone for U-Turn, but Ojama just played that pretty well. Um, like, the Tita could have lifted even the Earthquake, I'm pretty sure. I didn't run the Kalk, but I know Mega Tita is pretty bulky. So I could have lifted that. But yeah, uh, Dragon Dance is kind of free for Ojama if he really wants to go for it. And, like, Kikasa is either gonna go hard Landris or he's gonna sack off the Finny as he does just sack off the Finny. Do we see a DD? Yep. So he's gonna take some sandstone plus poison damage, leftovers, get some health back. So now he's in range from Crunch or Ice Punch. Like, I don't know if this has Crunch, but I think it might have Crunch just because Reuniclus is like a common threat. And I think Crunch has like 24 pp, so even if Reuniclus has like asset armor, you get like multiple chances to crit through it, right? So it just makes sense to me. Let's try to PP store here with Reuniclus, because Reuniclus asset armor has a lot of PP if I'm not mistaken, and comment also. So Lando's gonna probably U-turn this time, because last time he earthquaked into the Lando. Ojama has no reason to stay in and risk anything though. So Ojama should just switch out into his own Landris here. 
Um, there's like no reason to risk the Tita getting crit if it's not in range, or it might also be in range of Earthquake if it's not bulk invested Tita, which it might just be max attack. Um, so Jama is just gonna switch him to his own Landris here. I think Kikesa is probably gonna U turn out. There's the Landris, we're gonna see U turn most likely. Yep. Now the NC can come out. Oh, Reunix has come back out, but Reunix just doesn't get him anything. The Volk comes out, he just gets super low and he's forced to roost and Ojama can then either just Earthquake or switch into Pax. He would probably just go Pax if the Volk would come out, but I think he's just gonna go DNC, right? And um, when he goes DNC, Jama still has double checks for DNC in Jirachi and in Pax, so he can then still switch out as there's the DNC. So yeah, Ojama can still switch out here into either the Pax or the Jirachi. I don't remember how healthy the Pax is. If it's low, then he doesn't want to go to it here, but Jirachi is still healthy. Um, Jirachi is at 65-ish after the hazards, I think. Um, so Kikesa could probably just get up the rocks here, anticipating Ojama to switch, but I honestly just don't see Kikesa winning this. Unless Ojama is not healing with Jirachi, I guess, then he might have a shot, because uh, then the Tita gets super low from spikes and can potentially, yeah, you can potentially do it if Jirachi is not healing wish, but it should be healing wish Jirachi. That's like one of the only reasons why you use Scarf Jirachi because Scarf healing wish is just super solid. It's like a healing wish that you pretty much get off guaranteed. They cannot really prevent you from getting it off. Just I just feel it has to be healing wish. You turn Iron Head in the last move. I'm not sure if it's trick or coverage move. Probably coverage move, honestly. Uh. But yeah, looking at it, I think Jama looks kind of weak to stall, or am I missing something? Yeah, he does look kind of weak to stall, so maybe it's trick, but even that doesn't even help that much of us to stall, because they will have multiple checks for Jirachi anyway. Uh, but yeah, Kikasa's probably just going to go for Roxy, anticipating Ojama to pivot into Jirachi or Pax. I just don't remember how healthy the Pax is, that's the thing. I think it's at like around half-ish. Yeah, it's probably at around 50 after hazards, I just don't remember exactly. Um, so they're taking their time here, which is understandable because it's semi-finals game 3, so winner of this moves on to finals. Finally makes a switch into Jirachi, as I assume we're just going to see the rocks go up from Kikesa exactly, because it was just pretty obvious that he was going to keep the Landris as fodder. And Jirachi can just go for Scarf Iron Head here. Kikasa is going to switch out into either Reuniclus or Landris, probably Landris. Landris is going to take rocks. And I think Scarf Ironhead is probably a 2-hit KO on this, exactly. So he just Ironheads again here, pretty sure. Super free, confirming that he's Choice Scarf, but it was really obvious, just looking at the team. And like we saw, Landris was Ayapapa, he didn't have another Scarf. I guess it could have technically been Scarf Kyurem, but Kyurem is usually um, the sub boost of Power Ice Beam set with Metronome or Z-Move, probably Metronome, because he had um, Z-Move on the Tornado. So Jirachi is going to switch out into the packs here. Volcarona can probably go for Roost, like... Rocks plus T specs just keep this in check so well, and well I guess he's only he's only hit by one layer of T specs. So if Jama does not have haste on the packs for some reason, then the Volcarona can actually win this game by just quiver dancing up to plus six and then spamming Bug Buzz to try and get a spadef drop or just do a lot of damage at plus six. So if Jama is not haste, I guess that's Kikasa's win con at this point, or that the Jirachi is not healing, which one of the two things. But I'm pretty sure that the packs is. Haze recover toxic spikes and scalds, so just just go Pax as Kikasa goes for a roost and the Pax is gonna go for recover here. And yeah, what can Kikasa even do, honestly? Unless he changed the set to Shattered Psyche, he cannot do much to the Pax at all. So the equivalence is up as Ojama is gonna recover. And Ojama is now gonna click Haze if he has it, which he should have. And he just flamethrows trying to get a burn and does not get the burn. Um, even if he gets the burn, that would only cancel out the black sludge, so that wouldn't do too much. So this is just a game that Kikasa cannot win, because Pax has so many PP. He has 48 haste PP. He has 16 recover, I think 15 left. And he has also like 20 skull left, 22. And then he also has 31 toxic spikes left. So even if he tries to PP stall, it absolutely does not work. Even, like, oh, Haze alone has 48 PP. <laughs> this is not possible. And yeah, he's also forced to roost every few turns because he's taking his chip from the Scald and from the uh, Toxic Spike. So eventually he will just have to switch out into Reuniclus. Staying in with Volcarona does not accomplish anything for kick -Ass there. Um This is just a losing game for him, I'm pretty sure. 
I thought he's gonna roost here, Ojama is free to just click Scald again, um, there's not much to narrate here, this is pretty obvious that he's gonna have to switch out the Volcarona eventually, is he? okay, just T-Spikes, which is also a solid play, just keeping the Scald PP, mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't really matter what Ojama does here, uh, I really don't see him losing at this point, unless he screws up really badly or his internet dies, like, I don't see him losing, honestly. They just swallow the Scald into the Reunic class. And now Ojama is... I mean, he doesn't even have to switch out technically, the packs. Um, he can switch out into Jirachi, yes. Or into Tita. Tita is really low, so yeah. He's, if he switches, it's probably into Jirachi. He doubles back into Volcarona, anticipating the Jirachi. I think that Tita is at around 50 after Hazards, yeah. I mean, Tita would have also been fine. But yeah, doubles into Volcarona, they're anticipating Jirachi or Tita. It's just gonna, he's gonna be forced to roost, though, so that did not accomplish anything. And Ojama is just completely free to go back into Pex. Uh, Pex also doesn't really care about the rocks and spikes because it has Regenerator. And Yakikis is forced to heal here once again. And it's just not, it's just not Kikasa's game. He cannot, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but like, what is there to say? These turns are kind of repetitive. He can just keep scalding. And, um... Roost will eventually run out, and there's no way for Kikasa to win as he does get crit, which speeds up the game. He said GG, so GG, so I think he's just gonna forfeit right here. Because uh, obviously he did say that. It's, he did say GG. Yeah. And um, DNC was already chipped. DNC was at um, 51. Would have lost to Pex as well. If it didn't lose to Pex, then Scarf Jiraji could have forced it out. And. Um, yeah, Mega Tita pretty much also won whenever it got in on the Reuniclus. It just Dragon Dances and then wins the game from there on its own. Um, I guess he had a slight chance if it was not Healing Wish. He could have still tried to play and if it's not Healing Wish he might have had a slight shot. But it's just 99.9% .9 that it's Healing Wish. Mm -mm -mm. And I mean I understand that he just forfeited there. It was pretty much over unless Ojama had a huge stroke or something. Congrats to Ojama. He has been playing pretty well in um, Snag and Old T. You guys can stay tuned for more Ojama games. Um, I recorded his run till finals. I recorded all of his games live. I think, yeah. Um, like I said in my last upload, my computer has not just been super slow. I mean it's a laptop. It's like garbage. Getting a good computer and like five six months is what I'm trying to do I'm just still saving money for that so then you guys can expect um, the uploads faster just rendering takes so long with this garbage computer and yeah smash the like button if you enjoyed congrats to Ajama and I see you guys with more content next days peace out friends